Maine Coon Cat vs. Savannah Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Maine Coon is a native New Englander, hailing from Maine, where they were popular mousers, farm cats, and most likely ship's cats, at least as far back as the early 19th century. The first thing you'll probably notice is that Maine Coons are big really big. In fact, the record for the world's longest house cat belongs to a Maine Coon who grew to be over 4 feet long. They're affectionate without being needy, they're adaptable, and they've kept their hunting instincts, just in case you need a good mouser. A hybrid of a domestic feline and a medium-sized African wildcat, the savanna is a challenging and rewarding companion. If you want a low-energy cat to snuggle all day, think twice about adopting a savanna cat. This breed has lots of energy and needs physical and mental stimulation. If they don't get the activity they need, they may get bored and make their own fun which can mean destructive, unwanted behaviors around the house. For a diligent human who keeps up with this cat's needs, the savanna makes for a fun-loving, active family member with plenty of affection to give. The good-natured and affable Maine Coon adapts well to many lifestyles and personalities. They like being with people and have the habit of following them around, but they aren't needy. They're happy to receive attention when you direct it their way, but if you're busy, they're satisfied to just supervise your doings. Close a door on them and they will wait patiently for you to realize the error of your ways and let them in. They're not typically a lap cat, but they do like to be near you. They also retain their skill as a mouser. No rodents will be safe in a home where a Maine Coon resides. Even if you don't have any mice for them to chase, they'll keep their skills sharp by chasing toys and grabbing them with their big paws. A Maine Coon also enjoys playing fetch and will retrieve small balls, toys, or watered up pieces of paper. They can climb as well as any cat but usually prefer to stay on the ground level. That's where their work is, after all. They're also very smart and will happily learn tricks or play with puzzle toys that challenge their brain. Maine Coons usually enjoy a kittenish love of play well into adulthood. Males, especially, are prone to silly behavior. Females are more dignified, but they aren't above a good game of chase. Not especially vocal, they make any requests in a soft chirp or trill. If you want to live with a sweet, quiet lap cat, don't get a savanna. This is an active, adventurous feline who enjoys life in the fast lane. Her athletic body allows her to jump to very high places, and her questing spirit leads her to take well to walks on a leash, seek out water to play in, and thoroughly explore her surroundings. This is a confident, alert, curious, and friendly cat. Most savannas are gracious hosts who will greet your guests with aplomb, as well as close companions who will want to spend time interacting with you. Be sure you have a well-developed sense of humor if you live with one of these cats, they are not above playing jokes on you. It takes a highly intelligent person to outwit a savanna. You may need to switch faucet styles to prevent them from turning on their own private waterworks or attach childproof locks to keep them out of cabinets. Don't forget to protect breakables. Put them away where the savanna can't knock them over as she makes one of her famous leaps, and ensure electrical cords are protected from gnawing kittens. Provide savanna with toys that will stand up to rough play and interactive games that will challenge her mind. To live happily with savanna, plan to spend plenty of time interacting with her. Be sure she has interesting toys to occupy her when you're not around. Reward her when she does things you like, and redirect her energy and interests when she does things you don't like. Protect special belongings by putting them out of reach. If all of this sounds like too much work, choose a different cat. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Despite the length of the Maine Coon's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily, if you groom it regularly. It is easily cared for with twice-weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Useful grooming tools include a stainless steel comb for removing tangles, and what's called a grooming rake to pull out the dead undercoat, which is what causes tangles when it's not removed. Use it gently, especially in the stomach area and on the tail. Maine Coons are patient, but they don't like having their hair pulled any more than you do. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. Bathe the Maine Coon as needed, which can range from every few weeks to every few months. If their coat feels greasy or their fur looks stringy, they need a bath. Brush a savanna short to medium length coat once or twice a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. 
use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep Maine Coon and Savannah as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Be aware some cities or states have laws against keeping hybrid or exotic animals. While the cats registered with Tika are considered fully domestic, a first or second generation Savannah, meaning one who has a serval as a parent or grandparent may face restrictions. Check the laws in your area before purchasing any Savannah that could fall under laws governing hybrids. Check the hybrid law for more information. The friendly, laid-back Maine Coon and the active and social Savannah are a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They love the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect, and they don't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. They're happy to live with cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you are away during the day, it's probably a good idea to provide your savanna with a companion, another savanna, another cat breed, or even a dog. Most savannas get along well with dogs, especially if they were raised with them. Otherwise, a period of adjustment may be necessary for both savanna and the dog. Introduce them gradually, and ensure they are both always under control until you are sure that they have come to an amicable understanding. With other cats, savannas do best with breeds who either have a similar personality and activity level, such as Abyssinians, Siamese, or Oriental Shorthairs, or more laid-back cats such as Maine Coons, Ragdolls, or domestic shorthairs who will just yawn good-naturedly as they watch the savanna swing on the chandelier. Some pets aren't safe in the presence of this stealthy cat. Think twice about getting a savanna if you have pet birds, pocket pets such as hamsters, mice, guinea pigs, or rats, or an aquarium full of fish. The savanna is a very fine hunter and can probably get past any safeguards that you attempt to put up. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.